You lost your mic? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. Are we on? No. Oh. Ann Sullivan, we need you. Are we on? Okay. A little switch on the handle is a wonder. Okay, you got your coat off? Are you comfortable? I know, I know you've had a lot of pressure in your life, you can handle stress, but uh, this is going to be a tough night. Deeds to Carol. You'll have to read it. All right. I have no Carol is making some reading. Well, I understand that Dan was a uh, uh, mischievous youth, is that right? So, in order to protect Dan, we're going to hold off on some of that stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we got Mel Bloomberg out here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Mel, I know you've got some stories about uh, young Danny boy. I wish you'd have told me about this. Uh, well, anyway, I had, a, I had a, uh, an MG, and I used to go by Dan's house on 4th Street. And uh, his mother called up and said, Talk to Carol and said, My God, won't you have Mel come down and give that kid a ride in that car? Every time I went by, this went on for a couple of months. Dan was, I knew what time I went to work and what time I came in. He was there and he was just as reliable then as he is now. I said enough. I could have done better if I'd known him. Okay, Carol, let Carol. We were just married, and we lived about a half a block away from him, and I remember him saying, Mr. Bloomberg, Mr. Bloomberg, can I please have a ride in your car? <laughs> and I'll say tomorrow. <laughs> you know, the other side of that story. And uh, they sent about a thousand cars out of Chicago to the West Coast, so we got one who was being driven out there. Dan's driving across the river at Hannibal, Missouri. And a young lad, and came across the bridge with no brakes and hit stand in the rear end and we spent the day in Hanover, Missouri and uh, under kind of unpleasant circumstances we were up with a $200 check in our pocket. We're headed to a Beverly Hills Chrysler Plymouth dealer to go deliver a late model uh, Chevrolet convertible in some pretty good shape except for a little damage to the rear end. <laughs> So things go well, and we arrived in Beverly Hills, and then when we got there, our next stop was the airport. So there were 20 salesmen around, and Dan said, what do you think about one of you guys taking us out to the airport? And they said, this isn't a taxi service. <laughs> Pretty much in the way we were from X mile, and we're dealing with a guy that played a little football. And Dan asked him a little bit, he was a defensive lineman for the LA Rams. He, he played a little bit, but he apparently hadn't lasted too long. But he's a little sour on guests getting to the airport. So uh, we locked the car up in the middle of the uh, service area and asked him one more time, what do you think about a ride? No way. So uh, Dan said, you know, we've got a check for $200 in our pockets to cover the damage on the automobile. And the guy becomes a little belligerent then and said, you guys from Iowa are going to have some hard times. So we grabbed the luggage and we're headed down through the uh, alleys of uh, Beverly Hills in the full tilt with this guy chasing us. <laughs> so about eight blocks or so later, the owner of the place stops us and says, boys, I'll tell you what, I'll get you to the airport if you can get a check. Dan says, when we get to the airport, you'll get the check. <laughs> so we get in the car with the owner, he takes us to the airport. Again, the football player walks back the eight blocks to the uh, dealership and he's not too happy. Things went pretty well. We got to Hawaii. And had the keys to the car in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was locked there. So we did mail him back, and I'm sure they thought well of us. <laughs> Being on a fairly low budget, we discovered there were a couple of smorgas for us. <laughs>
I'm proud to announce that my youngest son beat me at picks this year by 22 seconds. So it was a real downer for that. And my daughter, I just took her to Banana Republic in Boulder, and she really gave me a good birthday present there. I got one of my Thanks for coming. It really means a lot to me. Clinton's a great place to live. We've got a lot of great people, a lot of great friends, and we thank God for all the blessings that he has given us. Thank you for coming tonight. I'll record this for posterity here. <laughs> yeah, what a way to kill conversations. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I've got like chicken hanging down the side of my mouth, probably. <laughs> I have no idea. She was a lot older than. Hey, Jordan. She couldn't have been Yeah, Mike, did you have that running last night? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had the old uh, conga line and the, I don't know, the electric. Uh, One of the guys that got driven home <laughs> started at this end of the dance floor and he. And he slid on his like on his bottom the whole. He kept doing this like that for tomorrow. He's gonna be sore. He's you know he's our age. He is not gonna get out of that. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I don't know. He, Jim Jim Burns' son-in-law. Uh, oh, Jake Olson. I don't know. If that, uh, no, they were having so a great time. Custom pack. Yeah, Jim Burns. I didn't see him. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, you would remember that. Yeah. Was still. Hey, Andrew, I didn't get you, uh... <laughs>